Hello friends, welcome to C Sharp Intermediate to Advanced tutorial. Now we are starting a new sub series to learn C Sharp serialization and deserialization. So, serialization and deserialization are useful to write class object into, uh, into a disk or we can even stream it to uh, some other computer in the network so simply you can stream the class object after streaming it you can uh, send it over the network or you can save it to the disk file right so the sub series goes in this sequence first uh, you will learn about the serialization then we will create a a uh, class called product and uh, this product class will go into a separate uh, dll project and then after this uh, product class we will define serialization example it's a form based uh, project and it will output an exe and in that exe you will fill the content then you will do the serialization then in the second part we will see how to deserialize the object all right first uh, in this video we will talk about serialization serialization is a process of writing data into the disk or sending it to our network stream the data can also be a class object so simply here we talked about writing the data or we can say streaming the data into disk or sending it over the network uh, medium so the data can be a normal primitive type like uh, integer float or it can be even a class instance so the process of converting the uh, class instance into the stream is called serialization deserialize is reading back the data from a disk or reading it from the network stream if serialized data is an object the object will be reconstructed say for example here you have an object with uh, some fields in it there are three fields right and you can write it to a disk c column some file you can write it so this is called serialization and if you read back and reconstruct the same object from this byte stream or the streamed data this is called deserialization so there are three fields it is written to the disk and from the disk you are reading back and reconstructing the object writing to the disk is serialization and reading back from the disk is called deserialization once object data is in disk other application can read and process it so you can think this as a simple file so if you write some data into a file uh, you can even consider a normal text file let's say you're writing something into the normal text file so once you write it to the text file any application can read it right so a notepad application can read the text data or wetpad microsoft word or even some other application that can read that text content similarly using serialization if you write some class information then other application can also read that information only thing is the class instance should be known to both the application so if uh, let's say app1 a1 a2 app uh, app1 is writing the data class c1 then app2 can reconstruct the class instance 
and it should know the type of C1. So if A2 knows the type of C1, then it can read the content and reconstruct it. So that's what here we are saying. Once object data is in disk by means of serialization, other application can read and process it. Can read and process it is what called deserialization. Once object data is in disk, so some application is writing it to the disk, that means it is serializing that. Here we are doing the deserialization. Serialize and deserialize is also used in network data transfer. Network data transfer in the sense is, suppose if this is app 1, some system A and which is serializing the content in the form of stream 0, 1, 1, 0, something in the form of stream, the class instance is serialized and in the other end there may be one more network system which can which can read this streamed information and reconstruct the object. So if this is the object it can reconstruct it here back. So in between the data in transit is in binary format or it's in the stream format. So here serialization occurs and in the receiving end it will deserialize the serialized content. .NET provides below formatters. So when we are serializing the data, the data serialization is the data serialization is done through the formatters. So binary formatter most frequently used one and in this example we are going to use a binary formatter so that means when we write a class information into the disk it will be in the binary form you can still read some of its content but uh, it's not uh, as simple as a text file it's not text file it's a binary file and so that's one formatter, binary formatter. Then the other format is XML formatter. So serialized data is in XML in XML format. So serialized data is in XML format. Here serialized data is in binary format. And there is a one more formatter called SOAP formatter. So SOAP formatter is suitable for transferring the data over internet application. So it's a standard, right? SOAP format is a standard. And once you write something or once you serialize the content in the form of SOAP formatter, uh, any application in the internet who understands the SOAP standard can parse it back. That means it can serialize it. I mean deserialize it. So in the internet application, one application we can say the sender. Sender will serialize. When it is serializing, it will use the SOAP format, SOAP formatter, and receiving application will deserialize it using the SOAP formatter. So suitable for internet based application. Alright, in this sub-series, we will use binary format, binary formatter, and you can explore other two options. There is no demo here. Thank you for watching. Bye.